This is my tripod. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Well, one of mine, I should say. This is a Dolica 57 inch ultra compact tripod with built-in monopod. Cost me about 60, 65 bucks from Costco, I think four years ago. And I use this thing all the time. I use it for all of my B-roll shots that are not like this camera and overhead camera. Anything that involves not being here, this thing's what I've been using. But it's very limited and being that it is several years old, some of the parts are starting to wear a little bit. Some of the connections are not so great. And again, the 57 inches, it's a little limiting in terms of size. So if I need something to be very tall, it's not. Other than those things, this has been an amazing tripod and it is still available for about 70 bucks over on Amazon. So the price has actually gone up over time. It comes with a ball head that I'm actually still using for my overhead camera. And again, it does become a monopod. Awesome stuff. But a company called BC Master reached out and asked if I wanted to try out a new tripod. So yeah, absolutely. And here it is. It's a little big to fit on the overhead camera, but this is the BC Master BCM TA933M 80 inch carbon fiber two-in-one tripod with monopod. And basically this has all of the features of the tripod that I was just talking about, but it's carbon fiber, which should make it significantly stronger. It's also 80 inches tall, which means it's almost two feet taller than the one I was looking at previously. And there's not much to really unbox about it. It's a tripod, so I've already gone through all of that. But you do get a user manual, an Allen key for adjusting things, a mounting nut for helping to convert it into a monopod, an extension piece for the center pole just to give you a little bit of extra height, and a little velveteen velour type bag, which was over the ball head. The tripod itself does come in this bag, very nice carrying case, which it will probably never be in again, but if you do want to protect it when you're traveling around, this will get the job done. And it may be kind of hard to show all of this on camera, so I may have to switch out here in a minute, but this is the tripod. This is all of it. This folds out to be an 80 inch tripod. And just to put them sort of side by side here so you can see it, this is the previous one that was 57 inches. This is the new one that's 80 inches. You can see there's about a six inch height difference there. And for those extra six inches, you get an additional two feet of extension. I am okay with this. Might be a little harder to fit into a backpack or something, but stick it in a suitcase. As for the legs, you basically just fold them down. They click into place right there. You can see they have these all metal locking mechanisms on it. And when it clicks into place, it does hold it pretty firmly. You have a little attachment on the underside if you want to hang a sandbag or something from it, but this does come off to help you make a monopod, as well as this leg that has the attached foam grip on it. You basically just twist it and it comes loose. And all three of the legs do have these adjustable sections here at the bottom. You basically just twist them and then pull the whole thing out and it keeps pulling and keeps pulling to become a very tall tripod. The feet technically even screw off, so if you have different feet that you could fit into it, you could always replace those. I've read somewhere that people were looking for spikes instead, and if you have something that will screw in, you can definitely do that. As far as the other end of it, this is the ball head. And compared to the one I was using previously, this is a lot more robust, much more significant. Actually, all of the knobs on the previous one had a rubber grip on the outside, which started to slip over time. This does not have that, which means that they should stay strong. And you basically just loosen this knob here. You can go around, loosen this knob in order to use the ball head, and then loosen this third knob and the quick release plate will come off. Kind of weird because I'm used to having a button that you have to push in order to get it off, but I guess that helps make it more one-handed. A bit of quirkiness comes in when you try to actually convert this to be a monopod though. Basically you have to go to the bottom of the tripod and unscrew this section where the sandbag would attach, pull all of that off, take the entire center section out, which again, this is the same kind of stuff I had to do on my previous tripod, take this leg off. But on my Dolica tripod, the leg actually had a screw coming out of it. This one does not, and that's where this guy comes in. So you just screw this into place, screw the other end into the top section, into the center shaft, and there you go, you have a monopod. And it feels like a very sturdy, very lightweight monopod. That again, gets extremely tall. I can't even show it on this camera. But suffice to say, it's long enough that I could probably touch the back wall with it if I really wanted to. But then still collapses down to be about three feet long. And if you wanted to, you take it apart in the middle and it goes to about half that size, so 20 inches or so. Very portable, very compact. For an event, this would be a great addition. And honestly, I don't have a whole lot more to say about it than just that. I'm gonna start using this as my main B-roll tripod, so if I'm capturing very nice looking footage of something, it's probably gonna be done on this. I'm gonna be taking it with me when I travel places because it's about one pound heavier than my previous tripod and again, six inches longer than my previous tripod to get an additional three feet and carbon fiber that will hold a little bit more weight. I actually can't seem to find the max weight of it on Amazon, but it should have no problem holding a DSLR and, and a large lens or anything like that. Now the one sort of downside to this is going to be the price, but for a carbon fiber tripod of any size, you're gonna be paying at least 150 to 200 bucks, which is why I hadn't done it up to this point, because my cheap one was getting the job done for what I needed. And as you might expect, this thing is about 150 bucks over on Amazon right now. But actually I just got an email from the company and they're offering a 20% off coupon code 
episode good through the end of May. So if you're interested in picking up a carbon fiber tripod and you have not already, that code's gonna take 30 bucks off of it. So about 120 bucks and you can have yourself a carbon fiber 80 inch tripod. I call that a bit of a steal. So thanks so much to BC Master for sending this out for me to take a look at and to use and to continue using from now on. I am a big fan of it and hopefully you are as well. Thanks to you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel to receive more, and I'll see you again next time.